At 10, alarming new numbers about food allergies. More and more children are being rushed to the ER with life-threatening allergic reactions. Tonight, KCTV5's Abigail James looks at this growing problem and explores why getting a handle on it isn't easy or cheap. For those that have severe food allergies, the world can be a minefield. It really impacts every aspect of your life, every um, quality of your life. Millions of Americans have to swear off shellfish, peanuts, eggs, or gluten to avoid allergic reactions that can range from stomach cramps to life-threatening swelling of airways. Mother of two, Emily Brown, says both of her young daughters are affected. That fear of accidental exposure is certainly always there, and particularly when your kids are not in your care. Brown says one of the keys to managing food allergies is learning to read food labels, though it's a tedious job. You know, even if you're only managing a peanut allergy, you have to be very careful and reading labels. Researchers estimate that up to 15 million Americans have food allergies, including 5.9 million children under the age of 18. And despite a rise in the medical condition, allergist Dr. Marissa Love says there's no definitive reason as to why food allergies are affecting more people. So at this point, uh, a lot of the research is being directed to, you know, what's the cause? How can we prevent this? Love says what we do know is people who have a family history of allergic disease can pass that down to the next generation and food allergies could also stem from the foods we're most exposed to. Not many people in our population eat sesame seed items or sesame seed itself. However, if we lived in the Mediterranean, um, hummus is very common. Um, they cook, um, to, uh, they make a dish called tahini that has a lot of sesame seed in it. And so sesame seed allergy is fairly common in that population. Despite being able to track down guaranteed reasons for food allergies, the awareness level is growing and new studies are constantly emerging. Recently, new research has shown milk allergies to be the most common in children. The good news is that is one of the allergies that is able to be outgrown. Most children actually outgrow their milk allergies. Though as long as a person has a food allergy, the battle to keep up with the cost of alternative foods can be a challenge for some. If you have a special diet dietary need, um, there can be real challenges to accessing those foods in certain communities. When comparing prices at a local high V, alternative foods were priced higher than their conventional counterparts. The biggest cost differences were found in bread at $1.79 a loaf versus gluten-free bread at $5.99, then eggs at $1.19 and egg replacers at $7.59. Now, it's estimated in the Kansas City area alone that there are 8,000 people who would qualify for a local food pantry that serves low-income-based families with food allergies just like this one. Brown is the founder and CEO of the pantry, which now has four locations across Kansas City. After personally experiencing the challenge of affording the foods her daughters needed, she wanted to help others. It doesn't provide all the food that they need, but by providing this, they're able to really stretch their dollars and, and hopefully not make a difficult uh, choice between their health or hunger. Abigail James, KCTV5 News.